what if I threw up and then could I go home? <laughs> what if I threw up and even if they were mad, then could I go home? Even if they were mad, maybe I could do that? <laughs> Ah, sponge. Um, this was based on a, inspired by a true story that happened to a friend of mine. It's about projecting. <clears throat> ah, sponge, you kill me. Let my friends be dicks and dumb jobs fine. Let my life fall down around me. But I'm home and all I want and the sink is blocked by what even is that? Lord, I'm starving, dumb, broken, leaky. Why? Sponge, why? Just two days? This in two days? I thought you would last. I thought this would work, but didn't you choose to be a sponge? Isn't this the life you wanted? Haven't you dreamed of scrubbing pots and fighting grime? Well, you are a fool. You are a failure, and I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's look at another one. Um. No, nope, that was this one. I'm purposely going over my time. I said I'm purposely going over my time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, okay, here's one. Uh, this is called No Money for the Bus. No money for the bus. It's a tripped up sticking feeling, a lessening to start my day with my nose down, my sugary plans stuck, strung up on caffeine and anticipation melt onto my head like a wet paper hat ooze into a brown pile under my ribs while I cover my shirt buttons with my shoulders. No money for the bus, but still I'm there, standing, then sitting, wondering why she let me on, hating myself for a freeloader through a dozen strangers' eyes, and feeling the brown between my ribs, the melted remains of my daydreams, cementing themselves to my liver, to my stomach, thickening and hardening into black tar that will take days to scrub out. No money for the bus, but tonight I'll have it, and tomorrow it and more, free from the stick and the stumbling and from the heavy shame that pins my eyes to the sidewalk. I'll be spinning sugary plans again, but I'll be looking at the ribs of people on the street, wondering what sticky tar is there and what it used to be before it fell apart and melted and whether they might be somewhere else if weeks or months or years ago they'd had money for the bus. How much time do I have left? As much as you want. Want to hear an uncomfortable one? Sure. Always. <laughs> this is like, this one is called steak, and uh, part of it is that I wrote it in the shape of a T-bone steak. <laughs> oh. So, uh, here it is. Steak. I am a steak. If you doubt it, take a bite. The quality of the cut is unclear, least of all to me, but that's a moot point now. You cook with what you have. If you tasted me in high school, you may have found me bland, perhaps even a bit limp and underdone. If you tasted me in college, it was still too soon. I overflowed with raw juices. I was seasoned only with testosterone. I would encourage you to try me again. My cut is no better, it's true, but my seasoning is more profound. I straddle the line between raw and burnt, so be quick about it. I see that you too are a steak. The little taste I've had proves that you are good meat, but I would savor you longer and take in all your subtler flavors. Mmm, steak. <laughs> I know the meat metaphor is not great right now, but <laughs> uh, 
All right, here's another one. This is called In the Morning. In the morning, I wake up and I open my eyes, and this is what I think sometimes. I think about the morning when I wake up, and sometimes I open my eyes. I open my eyes sometimes, and I see the morning when I wake up sometimes. Sometimes I wake up, and sometimes I just let myself lie. And this is what I think sometimes. <laughs> Do you have any idea this is how you're going to be spending your evening this morning before I message you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Ooh, want to hear a really uncomfortable one? Yeah. yeah. This is called Plastered, and I wrote it while I was very drunk, and then woke up and looked at it the next morning and was like, that's not half bad. <laughs> okay, here it is. <clears throat> plastered. Ah! I listen and look for all the, all the, oh, 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 all the, oh, all the this that I feel, I feel this in bold, so be fine. Ah, ah, this is what I wanted tonight. Ah, music, give me something, pour me something. Ah, drinking, make my something into something fine, fine, fine. Ah, ah, ah. All the things are right now, right now, right now. All of it is fine, I guess. Ah, okay. And then bed, okay. And then good night. And then it's okay. Just relax. Just be cool, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Fine, I'm cool. But really, I'm going insane, 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 okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt like I really accurately captured being like dangerously uncomfortably drunk. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. One more and then I'll be done. Sure. Okay. This is called Deadlines. I've always worked best under pressure. Does one count oneself lucky who can ruminate on a project? Or is leisure a sinkhole in which our ambitions decay? I say the greater fortune is in a moment of urgency when the hand of a creator is forced into action. Is it too radical to imagine that without the final deadline, when I must stand before eternity and submit my ultimate assignment, I might never get anything done? All right. You want to talk about any of it? Sure. All right. Do you have so, questions? Should I get up to a mic? Or? Sure. All right. I'm going to grab my bourbon. Thing?